All right, all right. Praise the Lord for so much. Coming back once again, hope and pray that everybody is still doing well. I'm coming with this part two right here because I was talking about in the other video how people try to make themselves have a gift. And a lot of people don't understand type of videos like that and they take them the wrong way because actually that video is straight for the ones who who can't sing and they're always trying to be the leaders and running everybody off, making people leave the church, leave the choir stand, so on and so on. So it, it's each to their own, though. I'm just laying out some little bit of advice, not to say I know it all. So what I wanted to do was come back and do this part two to talk about the, uh, the position of a worship leader. Because nowadays, people are throwing anybody in position. Not just in praise teams, the choir stand, but you got people voting pastors in the church just because that pastor can sing. Well, maybe he can draw a congregation because he's a singing pastor. Just because you can sing don't qualify you to be the pastor of the church. Matter of fact, you need to be in the choir stand. Let me leave that alone. But what does the Bible say about the position of worship leaders? Nowadays, we got all these people that got to pump you up on a praise team to get you to try to stand on your feet and praise the Lord. Well, I'm going to break this down. Because the term worship leader means so many different things nowadays. I mean, it's always best to open up the Bible and see what does the word of God say. The true worship and how do you lead worship. And the Bible, I like to go back to Romans 12, 1 and 2. And it always tells us how to present our body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable to God. That's your spiritual worship. And two says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your, I'll let y'all finish that. And first of all, the motivation to worship is the mercies of God which embodies all he has given us, none of which we deserve, because real talk, we don't deserve nothing. But the manner of worship is the presentation of our bodies, including our hearts, our minds, our hands, our thoughts and attitudes to God. And this is why when you go before God in worship, you shouldn't be dressed up like a hoe. I'm just keeping it real. You shouldn't be representing yourself in the in the worldly way that that now people are so focused on what you got on. I see people on on praise teams with with tongue rings in their mouths giving out signals. Oh yes. See, I'm talking about what the church won't talk about. I see homosexuals on the praise team that ain't glorifying God. I'm sorry. Giving out signals to each other. Praising the Lord like they like to say, but then soon church is out. They getting each other booty. Somebody got to tell the truth. And women sleeping with women. It ain't no secret that homosexuality and lesbians is all over the church. But let me just be real. Sin period is all over the church. But since I'm talking about music, and once again, homosexuals, JT love you. Lesbians, JT love you. It's the, the, the God loves the sinner but hates the sin. I don't embrace the sin, but I'm going to embrace the sinner. Because when we talk about leadership position, this stuff is a mess in the church right now. That's why you're you supposed to present your body, a living sacrifice, to be holy and acceptable. And, and another thing is our worship involves renewing our minds through the word of God. But how are you going to renew your mind through the word of God and you're not even opening up the word of God? You're not studying it. You're not reading it and it show and ain't living it. You need to know the truth. Too many, too many ministers of music and, and, and musicians are thrown in position and they don't have nothing to do with the word of God. And their lifestyle is terrible. To know the truth, to believe the truth, to hold convictions about the truth and to love the truth but do we do that? See, 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 true worship is God-centered. 
not man-centered. But this is the problem now. People done got so caught on glorifying man. A lot of these praise team worship leaders done try, trying to get the glory of themselves. They done they done got man centered and, and and it ain't God centered no more. The purpose of worship is not to produce an emotional experience, but to acknowledge God. That's who to, that's who is truly worship. See, this is why it's the difference between praise and worship. Me and many man done talked about this, did videos about it. Plenty of times. There's nothing wrong with praising your wife. Praising each other. But to worship, only God gets to worship. That's why I'm glad I serve a, a jealous God. People nowadays are getting in these microphones, trying to make you fall out, trying to make you run around the church. Lord, I know I'm not even going to get started talking about these prophets with all this laying hands on people. And they ain't even clean themselves. Worship leader, when you go to Ephesians 4, 11 and 12, I believe, it talks about how he gave some, he, and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, the teachers. What was they doing? He, he was equipping the saints for the work of ministry. For building up the body of Christ. Not turn down the body of Christ. Not keeping people confused. So are you really truly a worship leader? Mm. Or are you just somebody up there standing around trying to get the glory yourself? You ain't halfway right. Good God Almighty. The leaders in these churches nowadays, but not all churches, are really not leaders. When you got somebody up, don't study the word of God and don't live it. That's the worst type of church to be in. If the if the worship leader is to lead, then what's, what he must do is lead by example. And his life must line up with the word of God. Hmm. As with all leaders in the body of Christ. You don't even hear the word spiritual leadership. What about that? Hmm. Spiritual leadership. Just like when the high priest, let me go back for a minute. When the high priest had to sacrifice his own sins first, so must the worship leader. You got to get it right. You got to be right before the Lord. See, back then, we know what happened if you wasn't right. It, boy, I ain't gonna get started talking about a priest. How they had to sacrifice their own sins for. Her. See, when you stood before the holy of the holiness, you couldn't go no any kind of way. You know what would have happened to you? You would have got killed. What if that started happening right now? Mm. That's something to think about, ain't it? Most worship leaders right now are musicians, are directors, you know, and. They trying to lead, but they ain't learned how to follow first. Let me let me say something else. It is the responsibility. This is why God holds us so accountable. It is the responsibility of the worship leader to ensure that it is not the music, nor the instruments, nor the presentation, nor the voices, which are the focus of the worship service. Worship is bowing humbly before God and exalting Christ, King of Kings, Lords of Lords. The responsibility of, of the worship leader is to become less. What you mean by that, JT? Get self out of the way. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Recognize that Jesus hmm, is what we are talking about. And if you're not humble, you ain't right. So how you going to lead once again if you haven't learned how to follow? This is serious, people. Now can you see a little bit of difference between worship leaders? So I ain't talking about people just throwing they, like these, these organ players that I know. They don't have no humbleness. They don't have no God in them. 
because they just got through messing around in their sins. Some of them don't even make it to church. And some of the churches, the deacons, the trustees got the nerve to still pay them. And then they crying and complaining because he didn't show up. I'm going to leave that alone. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.